What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. I just want to do a quick intro video uh, for you guys and um, show you my car real quick. Uh, tell you a little bit about it, a little bit about myself and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get this started with just a quick walk around of my car. So here she is, the uh, 2012 Lexus ISF um, that you guys have been seeing in all the other videos that I've put up. I think I've put a little over a hundred videos now of me racing uh, different cars at the drag strip couple of me at road courses and me just talking about the car showing it set up here's how I usually have it or normally have it um, on the street um, you know really no different from when I have it on the track um, except maybe changing out the brake pads whenever I do road courses so let me do a quick walk around here I'll open up some things uh, for her let me, uh, let me start her up for you guys do you have an X-Force catback exhaust? And there you go. There's my key to winning. I'm one of the few ISFs that have uh, the navigation delete. So there, weight savings for you. That's just a quick um, taste of what the exhaust sounds like. It's, uh, it's kind of a cold start, you know. I'm not. Um, I drove away from my neighborhood just a couple of minutes to get uh, to make this video, and um, you can kind of hear the exhaust still. It's uh, a little bit louder than stock. I, I do have the X Force exhaust, which uh, I enjoy. I've had it for about two, a little over two years now. Pretty good exhaust system. I like the way it sounds. Um, as you see, as, you, as I've told you, told you before, I do have the RR Racing uh, Ultimate Steering Response System, which is the lower control arm bushings, and I have um, Swift Springs in the front only. Um, those are the only three modifications that I have to my car. Everything else is stock. Um, besides the tires, they are wider. Um, they are the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s in um, 245, 35, 19s in the front and 275. 3019 in the rear. Here she is. The way she sits. It sits even when um, you put just the swift springs in the front. I like the way it looks. Um, so I think it's 26 inches from the front and rear from the top to the bottom um, with these uh, swift springs just in the front. I, I like the even look. I didn't. I opted not to put the springs in the back because it would have lowered it. About, I think about a half inch, and it would have given it kind of that same uneven look, um, gap-wise. And let's see here, gap from the rear, gap to the front. So about the same. Um, I like it. Let me get, pop the hood real quick. right there. No intake, no tune, no headers. Just a bunch of plastic underneath here. All right, so I'll let the oil get up to temperature real quick and give you guys a little brief overview of this car. It is a 2012 Lexus ISF with 69,000 miles and some change. Had her for a little over two years now and have, I think, I last count a little over 400 passes at the drag strip, three track days, and um, a one roll racing event. The three track days were at Auto Club Speedway, Chukwala Valley Raceway, and Big Willow at Willow Springs International Raceway. Um, all of real, really fun tracks. Not sure if I have a favorite yet. Um, I'm going to go to Auto Club Speedway. I plan on going there in October again this year to run it. Um, I do not run this car at the track during the summer a uh, road course at, at least because it just gets too hot this um, the Achilles heel of the Lexus ISF is definitely the oil um, temperature the oil cooler there are companies like um, figs and RR racing that do sell auxiliary oil coolers which really help with that but that is the um, 
that was that was that is what's going to hold you back at the track from going you know as hard as you can all the time is because that oil just gets too damn hot i've got it up to all the way to you know uh, the, the top of this temperature reading and it's blinking it's screaming for dear life back off please so i have to you know cut cut off for a lap or two to let it get down to you know a, a decent temperature um i i do plan on going to auto club speed that one is pretty fun because I think it has a combination of everything at that um, track. I, I'll do a separate videos as I go to these tracks, but um, that one is the fastest track that I've gone to, or I think that you can get to in the area just because you're on the banked turn um, that the NASCAR you know cars run on, and I've gotten this car up to 148 miles an hour. Uh, I know a couple other Fs uh, have eclipsed the 160 mark um, because they are full bolt-on, and I'm sure the supercharged F has even gone faster than that. Um, so because of this car, I uh, met a lot of people, you know, through racing or um, on Instagram and uh, met, did, did F meets um, every year. The past two years has been an F only meet in, 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 uh, at Lexus Escondido, which is really nice. Um, I'd say it's probably at least 50 to 55 F cars have been there the last two years. And I think they're, gonna, they're trying to set one up um, uh, in the next couple weeks I think in early August so that would be um, really good to see some of those people um, haven't seen a few of them in a year or so but uh, seen a few um, at the racetrack um, different cruises little like little meets that people have um, which is pretty fun so I can't say that um, you know I haven't made friends because of this car which you know I have a lot of cool people um, you know that I've met uh, through this car and um, I've really uh, enjoyed my time she's you know held up pretty well I've you know, driven her for about, I guess, in the last, I guess, 19,000 miles or so that I've owned her. Um, all I've really spent money on, other than, you know, tires, brakes, and, um, and I guess, consumables that you'd have with any car is um, mods. Yeah, because I, I actually bought this car as a certified pre-owned uh, Lexus. And which, what that means is that uh, you get the, the next four services are... Um, free or complimentary um, because uh, I guess it's just included in the price um, when when you buy the car and what I really liked about this was that it included the big 60,000 mile service which is uh, which includes the spark plugs and um, rear diff uh, fluid change those are like the big ticket items on that service um, I think the spark spark plugs alone on this car uh, if you have the dealer do it it's a pretty tricky job it's it's pretty I mean if you're mechanically inclined and have the tools you're you're okay but uh, um, you need some good extensions and things to get to the um, uh, uh, to the rear spark plugs because they're tucked so tight back in the uh, in this engine bay um, but it's uh, it's I think a twelve hundred dollar job which is pretty uh, expensive for just spark plugs and um, and then uh, oh, oh, yeah, the, the, the temperature on the oil is up now, so let me switch this over to a, I guess a front view of the car and we will go for a little drive and I'll do some little clips of me going just around uh, where I live. You guys can kind of hear the exhaust. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna do this section of the video with um, the windows down. This car is in sport mode. Um, this is kind of neighborhood driving going about, you know, 30, 35 miles an hour. As you can tell, the uh, exhaust is pretty tame. Uh, can't really, you know, I, I, I would think it's the stock exhaust if uh, you, didn't, you didn't tell me otherwise. So it's really a uh, very livable exhaust uh, for daily driving. I know some people have more uh, sensitive ears than others. So I'd say that um, this is not a bad setup if you do uh, want
the next little segment that I'll show you is up this uh, pretty curvy road up this little canyon. Um, I'll thrash it a little bit, but not too much. So you can kind of get a good, uh, good feel for the exhaust sound. So I'm in third right now going up.
traffic, so I'll stop that there. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little mini uh, uh, intro video to my channel. I know I haven't, I've been kind of putting off making one of these. I've instead been just uploading race videos. And uh, so hopefully you guys like this intro video. You know, let me know what you guys want on the uh, comment section. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this stuff. I enjoy making it. I have a good time. So um, with that said, like and subscribe if you do.